Hello, good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new video in our channel, The Efficient Civil Engineer. In this video, we are going to start a new series under the title of Understand Structural Analysis. In this series, we are going to include very several important topics, starting from types of structures and loads. Then we will go to statically determined beams and frames, statically determined trusses and shear and moment diagrams in beams and frames, cables and arches, then influence line in statically determined structures, deflections of structures using different techniques, and then we will go to analysis of statically indetermined structures using several methods, and analysis of structures using the stiffness method, and also we will have plastic analysis of structures in addition to other topics. In our first video of this series, we will be talking about types of structures. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video to share the knowledge with others. First of all, what is a structure? A structure is a system of connected structural members used to support loads. The structures could be beam, frame, a truss, or an arch. It could be also other types such as slabs or shells or many other types of structures. What are the main structural elements that we can use to form or to make a structure? There are three famous structural elements, including tie rods or bracing struts, beams, and columns. What are these things? Tie rods or bracing struts, they are cylinder members that support tensile forces. This is showing an elevation of a strut or a, a tie rod. And if you take a cross section here in the strut, usually they are made from rods, bars, angles, or channels. And we can see here, these are the bracing struts that can be used to make a bracing or connecting two main frames as we can see in this photo. The second famous type of structural elements are beams. Beams are usually straight horizontal members that support loads. These loads could be concentrated loads, uniform loads, or even concentrated moments. Beams are subjected to shear and moments. Shear forces are always perpendicular to the direction of the beam. And this shear force and bending moments results in internal forces or internal stresses in the beam cross-section, compression, tension, and shear stresses. The beams are usually fabricated from steel or reinforced concrete or wood. Beams are simply supported or could be cantilever beams or could be continuous beams or combination of any of the three types. The third uh, structural element are columns. Columns are vertical members that support axial load or it can support axial load and moment. When a column is supporting only axial load, it's called a column. And usually this load is a compression force. When the column is supporting axial load and moment, they are usually called beam column. What are the famous types of structures? After we knew the structural elements, let's see, we can use these structural elements to form a structure. So the famous type of structures are trusses, cables and arches, frames, and surface structures. Let's go one by one. What are trusses? Trusses consist of cylinder elements, usually arranged in triangular fashion. And this is showing a typical truss when we consist of a bottom cord, usually under tension in a case of simply supported truss, a top cord, it is usually in compression in a case of simply supported truss, and we have vertical and diagonal members. The trusses can be used for large spans, and loads on the trusses should be applied only at the joints. You cannot, uh, you cannot apply a load at a middle. Uh, of a truss element should be only applied at the joints. And for trusses, we use this material to support a given load. These loads on the trusses cause the entire truss to bend 
and are converted to tensile or compression forces in the member. So any forces here applied at the joint will be converted to a tensile force or compression forces in the truss member. So all truss members are supporting only tension or compression, no bending moment. Trusses could be planar trusses, and this is, these are usually used in bridges and roofs. And also it could be space trusses, and these are suitable for derricks and towers. The second famous type of structures are cables and arches. Cables are flexible and carry their loads in tension. This is showing a suspended bridge, and these are the cables that are supporting this whole bridge. So the forces on the, these cables are tensile forces. On the opposite of cables, there are arches. Arches achieve their strength in compression. And this is showing an arch supporting a road. All of the forces here, or the loads on this, on this road are transferred to the arch. Then it, is, it results in compression forces or compression stresses in the arch. Then it takes it to the foundation. The third famous type of structures are frames. Frames are often used in buildings, and they are composed of beams and columns. These are the beams and supported in, on columns, okay? Then these frames could be two or three dimensions and could be also determinate or indeterminate. A determinate structure, it means it can be analyzed and solved using the three equilibrium equations. However, in determinate structures, it means the number of unknowns are uh, greater than the number of equations. And in this case, we have to use a special method to analyze it and to get the reaction then drawing the shear and the moments. Uh, this will be included in coming videos uh, through this series. The loading on a frame causes bending moment, shear, and axial forces in the frame members. The last type of structures are surface structures. Uh, they have very small thickness compared to their other dimensions and could be made from flexible materials such as tents or air inflated structures. Or also it could be fabricated from rigid materials such as reinforced concrete slabs and shells. This is the end of the first presentation in this series. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell to receive all notifications and please share it with uh, others to share the knowledge. Thank you and goodbye.